All right, so we're in the final part of the Let's Play, taking down the Joker. Way easier than taking down Bane. <laughs> oh, oh, that's... <laughs> it's just... It's just... <laughs> What a night! Fresh on the kill, then back for more, eh? Bane's still alive. Now that's not funny. Oh, this, oh, this rage, all directed at me, and for what? If you'd actually let me finish a sentence, you might learn something! You might learn that we're not so different! You might learn something about yourself! You need to learn to shut up. There's a pattern out there. But on this difficulty, it's invisible, so... Me. You must learn the lost cause. Oh, but there's still hope for you! <laughs> yes! I've got great hopes for you. Through your thick scalp! Oh, uh, we both exist because of them! Give up! You've lost! to stop me! <laughs> Any one of my guys would have killed him. The city deserves better than that. You know, my daughter thinks you're a hero. But I still have to bring you in. Gordon, come in. What's your 20? I'm in the chapel. We got the Joker. Son of a bitch. You caught him. And how did you do that? I had some help. I keep asking myself why I didn't bring him in. And I now know the truth is, I let him go because of you. Because you believe in him. I don't know. They put me in charge of a station full of rotten cops. And I can't change them any more than I can change this damn city. Or at least, that's what I used to think. is hot. That is funny. <laughs> Good one, Bats. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Maybe, maybe I can give them something to believe in. Maybe he can give them something to believe in. Regions. Really good. I enjoyed it. Played through three times already, so you know. <laughs> of course I enjoyed it. The story was great. Voice acting, great. Combat amazing. 
I mean, yeah, there's like minor things like the the glitches and the the progress being blocked for like the combat challenges by having to play through the campaign challenges, but yeah, whatever, man. It's like all the small stuff aside, like, you know, I was not expecting WB Montreal to do as good of a job as they did, like, coming off of like just two phenomenal games from Rock City. It just like, it, it was like, no way, not gonna happen. But then, like, playing this, it's like, what? Like, they, they managed to do it. They, like, somehow did not F up the formula to just, like, make this game terrible and just, like, completely not worth the money. It's like, man. So good. I tried so hard, my dear, to show that you're my every dream. Yet you're afraid each thing I do is just some evil scheme. A memory from your lonesome past Keeps us so far apart Why can't I free your doubtful mind And melt your cold, cold heart? Another crime before my time Made your heart sad and blue and so now you make me pay for things I didn't do. In anger, unkind words are said that make the teardrops start. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? You'll never know how much it hurts to never see you smile. You know you need and want to laugh, <laughs> yet you claim it's not your style. Why do you hide behind that mask? I'm trying to do my part. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold? There was a time when I believed that you belonged to me. But now I know your heart is shackled to a memory. You won't admit that we're the same and it's tearing me apart! Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? <laughs> but yeah, another thing I'd like to point out is that uh, I finished the game without using. Oh, never mind. I'll shut up. Our next guest, political strategist Dean Snyder, has been following tonight's events since the start, more than eight hours ago. Dr. Snyder, let's start with you. What's your view? Well, Jack, it's a travesty. The ultimate failing of the justice system. A vigilante cleaning up our streets after countless deaths and bombings? What has happened to our police force? What about James Gordon? He didn't exactly prove himself tonight. Hold on a minute, Dean. Now, I'm no defender of the GCPD or Captain Gordon, for that matter. Like you said, tonight's debacle is some reflection of his efficacy, but I can't see any police force in any municipality doing a substantially better job against criminals like this Joker character or any of the hired killers he's brought into town. I mean, these guys are a different breed. We've never seen anything like this. So for me, it's less a reflection on Gotham's cops and more of a reflection on the state of our country. A country where our mental health and education systems are so warped and broken that we produce criminals of this nature. You raise an interesting point, Hank, but what I'm wondering is what we'll do next. No, it's not an interesting point. It's just plain wrong. They're both wrong. This isn't about the police or the Batman. It isn't about the state of our nation somehow churning out a dangerous new batch of the criminally deranged. It's about the failing of one single institution. An institution which, in my view, represents the biggest threat to Gotham and its citizens. A time bomb, just waiting to go off. 
If tonight's events have taught us anything, it's that Blackgate is not the place to be housing our city's most dangerous offenders. Not one, but two prison breaks in the same night. All of tonight's tragedies would have been avoided if Gotham had a proper treatment facility for its top echelon offenders. A place with impenetrable security, where the most dangerous could be isolated, rehabilitated, and treated for their illness. A place like Arkham Asylum. And after what happened tonight, I promise the good people of Gotham that I will work tirelessly. I will lobby the city council, go to the governor if I have to, do everything in my power to get Arkham Asylum reopened, so we can all sleep a little easier. There you have it. Quincy Sharp placing the blame for tonight's events not on the Batman, not on the Joker, but on Blackgate Prison, and pledging to return Arkham Asylum to full operations. We'll be back with more from Mr. Sharp and our other guests when the Jack Ryder Hour continues after this message. But yeah, that was a nice, you know, touch, you know, linking Origins with Asylum. If you've played it, you know, what happens there. But, um, like I was saying, like, another thing I like so much about Origins versus, like, City, because I know Arkham Asylum is, is like, to me, is like, I, I enjoy Arkham Asylum, but I just prefer City and like it more. But, um... Because it has like that, you know, quasi open world, but not open world. But, you know, if you look at my playthrough of Origins, it's like I didn't even need to use fast travel. So it's like, you know, I prefer to play open world games and not do fast travel. Because it just adds, you know, to me, it just feels more immersive when I do that. So I don't usually fast travel. Unless it's my second playthrough or after that. So first playthrough, I like not use fast travel. And then, um, my... My one, my playthroughs after the first playthrough, I'll use uh, or sequential ones after that one. I'll play or I'll use fast travel, but you know, the environments were similar to Arkham City, but it it like it wasn't one to one of okay, this is the same uh, amusement mile area or the the Bowery area, so it felt different enough. And there's like that long bridge, so I don't know. It's like it felt larger than Arkham City, but since I just got done playing GTA V a couple months ago, it doesn't really compare to that, but it does, it still like holds up as far as like a cohesive open world that feels like it's, you know, been built to go around and do, do stuff in. And whereas like Arkham City, there wasn't really any point to like go around and, and beat people up unless you're looking for other trophies or just trying to level. And this one, at least they had the, uh, the random crimes happening so it has that element from red dead where you're going around and like random stuff will happen and you'll just happen across stuff and i didn't do any side quests in this playthrough so i think i'll be doing videos of those but i also want to go back and do videos of the side quests for um arkham city because i never did that so man i did enjoy this game like, the one thing to me I did miss was the, the like, other playable characters besides Batman from Arkham City. Because you got Nightwing, you got Robin, you got Catwoman. And this one you had Deathstroke, but unlike Catwoman in Arkham City, he has no real, you know, single player slice in the campaign to play through as him. So when I picked him up in the, in the challenge modes, I was like, I didn't even know how to use this dude, so I just had to go to town and just, like, see what his abilities are. But yeah... Um, I really hope that they have some stuff that's like, I, I would say not even after Origins, but after Arkham Asylum, because I just, I just really want like a, a game that uses all the characters that were in Arkham City in like a single player, you know, story, se like session, or like a story setting. So you have like Batman, you have Catwoman, you have Nightwing, you have Robin, and like there's something that's going down and they're like doing stuff. That'd be cool. And then, like, since Arkham Origins has Deathstroke in it anyway, you could go ahead and add him in and be like, okay, here's some sort of post-campaign DLC that links together the trilogy or something. That'd be cool. Or maybe it would, like, take place after Arkham City and, like, they had taken down the walls of the prison and like you got an even bigger environment to go and do stuff in that'd be cool too but we'll see because that's the one my one gripe with Arkham City was like they made such a good game but they didn't do anything with it like you had that good setting but they didn't add anything on 
as far as like single player content, it was just all challenge maps, the DLC, except for uh, Harley Quinn's Revenge, and I did not enjoy it. I don't, I'm not going to get into it, but you know, it just felt like a wasted opportunity. It was just like a deleted scene of, oh, here's the epilogue that we could have left in the game, but we took it out because you can see it's not really that great. So yeah, that's how I felt about felt about Harley Quinn's Revenge. I was like, I was severely let down. It wasn't very long. I mean, yeah, it was cheap. It was like five bucks, but it just it didn't feel like it was worth it. It was just like, ugh, oh, really? So I don't know. I'm I'm really hoping they do something awesome with this game for like the future DLC or just I don't know. But then it's interesting because it's like you know after this it's like how does you know Rocksteady come back after this one? And I really hope they do not do like a yearly game because that would just kill it for me. Like I'd be done because I don't need this to be like Call of Duty where it's like okay we have. Rocksteady, and we have WB Montreal alternating every year with who's going to release their Batman game. Because it's like, that's just going to run, run the franchise into the ground like every other yearly game. And then it's like, I, I, I don't even know if I can... I mean, yeah, I kind of want a, a new Batman every year, but it's like, at, at the end of the day, it would have diminishing returns like every other franchise that has a yearly version. So I'd eventually end up jumping off of that. But at least there'd be the monthly Batman from the New 52 by Scott Snyder, so... That's been good, so yeah. Actually, it's pretty cool because like zero year right now is going on, and it's like the whole you know Batman and his like when he first started out being Batman, and like you had the whole his chemical section and like the Red Hood section in the zero year, and that was cool. That was like in here, like part or it wasn't in here, but it was like you know mentioned with like Joker as a Red Hood. That was pretty cool. So that was I enjoyed that, and how like the somehow magically the the comic series aligned with the game that came out at the same time. I'm not sure if they like strategically tr strategically did that or not, but that was interesting how that unfolded. <sighs> Man. But then, oh. Yeah, also there's like a, I'm not going to spoil what it is, but there's like a, a clip at the end, and I'm wondering if there's going to like be even more since I finished it on the hard hardest difficulty. But it's like, I don't see what they can do with that. It's like, oh. So I'll speculate when we get there, but until then... I'll let, I'll let the credits roll and just keep talking. <sighs> Man, Arkham Region is so good. It's interesting because, like, it seems like to me, I would always, like, I always said that, like, Arkham City, in my opinion, was, like, the best 3D combat game of this console generation, like, or ever. So, but then after playing this one, it's like the. I don't know what they tweaked, but it seems like the counter system is not as... It's, like, more responsive, and you it's basically easier to use. So you're not always getting hit of, from, like, attacks you can see coming that before you, like, couldn't get to them or stop them, but this time it's like you can time everything to just... It feels so good. It just feels so refined and just so polished and just so good, just... They did such a good job with this game, and just like I played it, and I was just like, "Wow, that was amazing!" And then I just couldn't, and I can't stop playing it. Like this is my third time playing it, and now it's like I don't, I, I want the DLC, but it's not out yet. So it's like, what the? F? <sighs> and there's, it's, it's just, it's also funny. It's hilarious because there's multiplayer. I haven't even played it. It's like I don't even, I don't give a f about the multiplayer, dude. Because I don't want to be a henchman with a gun. I want to be Batman or one of the Bat Family characters. F that henchman crap. Ugh. Third person shooter, no thanks. This is Batman. But yeah, I guess I'll just talk about other Batman stuff as a credits roll, because this is like a 30 minute credit roll, so I have plenty of time to just gush all over Batman. Um, I'm not sure if it's still on Netflix, but from time to time they have like some of the animated movies. And I watched the, uh, Under the Red Hood. I really enjoyed that one. Um, and Black Mask is actually in that one, so... It'd be cool if they could do something like that in the, in the game. Just, you know, use that storyline, put it in the game, and bada-bing, bada-bing, bada-boom, there you go. Actually, that would be interesting, if they just adapted a bunch of, like, already existing storylines, or media. Well, I guess just the good ones, though. Not, like, all of them. <laughs> Into, like, this game engine that they've made. 
for DLC. I'd enjoy that. I'd, I'd, I'd buy a Under the Red Hood DLC. I mean, yeah, it would make sense, like, as far as, like, when does it take place after this game? Because it's so far before everything, because it's original. But, you know, they already have the engine, but they might as well just, like, keep popping stuff out. I'd rather have that than having to wait another two years for a game, so. We'll see. Then there's like the Mystery of the Batwoman cartoon. I enjoyed that one too. Um, yeah, I probably sound like different because I guess I'm tired and I'm ready to go to sleep after the credits roll, but yeah. <laughs> it's like 5 a.m. Uh, what else? Oh, the uh, Justice League Doom. I really, I really enjoyed that one. It's basically so. Uh, I, I'm trying to give it like a synopsis without spoiling it. But basically, it's like you know, you see you see a new take on the Legion of Doom, and like the the catalyst for that happening is that Batman has like a plan to defeat every Justice League hero, <laughs> and so that ends up like backfiring, and like a villain gets a hold of it and they use it against them, and like stuff goes down. It's pretty it's pretty good. I enjoyed it. Um. Let's see, what else have I watched? I'm trying like not to change gears and start talking about Marvel because I want to like not. I mean, it's it's not mutually like, exclusive. You can like both. I like both, so it's like whatever, dude. Because like right now I'm I'm reading besides Scott Snyder's Batman, uh, Forever Evil issue three. I haven't I haven't read that yet, so I've only read issue two though. I'm enjoying that. I need to I need to read issue three though because I'm behind. I'm behind in a lot of stuff because I was playing this so much that I stopped picking up my, my books for like two weeks, so I'm pretty behind now. Thanks, Batman. <laughs> um, Battle of the Atom, I enjoyed that. It was... It, it, the payoff wasn't as good, but, you know, whatever. It was it was a fun event. It's basically just like, you know, X-Men from past, present, and future. And it's a it's a storyline that happens. It's kind of hard to explain because right now you have like the time displaced X Men first class, which is a uh, Iceman, Beast, Cyclops, Jean Grey have been taken from the past to the future by Beast to like put some sense into Cyclops who killed Professor X at the end of Avengers vs X Men that event, and so that happened. And then, uh, that was, like, AV, or, uh, all new X-Men, like, ran this whole year, and then, like, Bally Adam happened, and they're like, and they're like, okay, that's it, we're gonna take, take the X-Men from the past and send them back to the past where they, where they came from, or you had this group of the future X-Men show up and say that, but they tried, but they couldn't, and then, um, stuff goes down, I'm not gonna say what happens, but I enjoyed it, and there's, like, four epilogues, it's crazy, like, when you got to issue 10, there's, like, four epilogues, I was like, what, and then, yeah, it's, like, I, I wasn't, completely satisfied but whatever it was a fun read and then uh, also infinity is out right now really good I mean, i'm enjoying that because i've been reading uh new avengers since issue i think three or four i don't remember which one but it was like the one they went to the alternate earth and um there was like galactus there and his his uh what's that word Herald, the Herald of Galactus in that universe was uh, Terax or whatever his name is, and so they go there and like the Earth is getting raised by Galactus and they're like, well, we can't save it, and but they do like fight the Terax dude and like take him with us or with or with them back to the uh, Earth Earth Prime, because like okay, I'm about to just start start rambling about comics for like the next however long until the the the, the uh, after credit scene shows. I'm just gonna keep rambling about co comics, but whatever, keeping it keeping it related to the. <laughs> Kind of related to the, the video at hand. So, <clears throat> okay, so to explain New Avengers first before I keep gushing about it, because it's like one of my favorite titles from Marvel now, is like, so you have Earth Prime 616 is like the one we live on. And then in, in and so you have like, um, what's it called? Incursions. And like an incursion event is basically you have two Earths from like, different multiverses and basically the multiverse is like you know there's different alternate dimensions or parallel i don't know if it's parallel or alternate i'll just say alternate because parallel is like it's a 
yeah, anyway, there's different alternate universes. And so, like, you know, on one Earth, you're, you're duplicates with, like, super evil or whatever. So it's like, you have these alternate universes. And, like, an incursion is when a... Uh, for, I, there's like it's explained in the book I can't think of what it is right now but basically like on earth there's like this there, it's at like the center of like the incursion of, of well it's not at the center but basically all the earths are com colliding so you have like it, it I, I'm probably explaining this wrong but whatever so you have the, okay so you have two earths and then like they're about to hit each other that's the, that's the incursion and so what happens is either they both are destroyed or one of them is destroyed. I think. I'm pretty sure that's how it happens. And so, in New Avengers, you have um, the Illuminati, who's like the secret... Well, it's not so much a secret group, it's just they're very behind the scenes. And like, uh, you know, making sure the incursions don't happen and like kill us all. So you have Beast, you have uh, Doctor Strange, you got... Well, you had Captain America, but then they, like, mind wiped him and, like, kicked him off the team. He's like, I'm not going to let you guys do this. Because, like, the stuff they had to do to, like, you know, not let the Earth get destroyed was, like, you know, some, <laughs> some, uh, not so legit stuff. And he's like, I'm not going to let you dudes do this. And then, like, just mind wiped him <laughs> and, like, kicked him off the team. It was great. It was, like, issue two or three. I was like, wow, that was great. Um, and, uh, Iron Man, Namor, Black Panther... Uh, Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic. I think that might be it. Because they all had, like, a gem of the Infinity Gauntlet, and then, like, they had to use it in issue... I think it was this, the same issue that they mind wiped Captain, or the one before that, like, to repel one of the Earths, and then, like, the gem shattered, except for the time gem, it disappeared, and they don't know... Well, we don't know if they know where it went, but we're, it's implied that they don't know where it went, because... In Infinity, back to getting back to the topic at hand, Infinity, or the subtopic as I'm just rambling about comic book crap as this this credit roll just keeps going. So you have like the time gym disappear. And so in Infinity, it's basically like a two front threat. So you have. Okay, actually, before I go into Infinity, let me talk about Avengers. Because <laughs> that was new Avengers, but that wasn't like Avengers. So Avengers is like interesting because it's like 23 people or something on, on the team. It's ridiculous. But it's, it's, I, I enjoy it. It's, it's, it takes, it's like an elevator, not an elevator, a, ro a roller coaster that only goes up <laughs> because it like keeps building and building and it hasn't really like, you know, delivered on all the stuff it's building on. But it, it's, it's getting there. It's, it's like a long, it's like a long, slow burn, but I'm enjoying it because there's a lot of, been a lot of cool stuff. So you have like this thing called the super flow and it's like... They, I, they, I, I don't know what it is. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but it's like, you know, there's like this ancient race of beings called the Builders, and they made these things called, are, are they engineers or the Builders? I, I forget. The Builders, and then like, they made these engineers, and they like also made these gardeners, and like the gardeners are like, uh, these, these, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like, well, like listening to myself talk about it, it's just like funny. So the gardeners are like this race, and they go out and they tend to worlds, and they seed life to planets, and they deem, you know, which ones are worth uh, raising or which ones are worth like letting thrive and evolve and stuff. And so <laughs> I'm trying to think, like, how am I going to get this background infinity? So you have the builders, dudes, builder dudes. And so, like, like, so Avengers the first arc starts off when basically you have uh, the, the team from the movie. So it's like Hawkeye, Black Widow, Iron Man, Captain America, and the Hulk. They go to Mars and get their asses kicked by, like, this collector, or not collector. I keep wanting to say collector. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about Mass Effect. This builder dude. Or it's, 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 it's I'm sorry. It's not a builder dude. It, well, it, well, technically it is a builder because they made him. But it's a gardener. And his name's X Nilo. And then there's a lady there named X Nylai or something. And, it, and I forgot what the lady builders are called or engineers. I'm sorry, but they're but she's like not an engine. She's not. Oh my gosh, she's not a gardener because she's like the opposite side of the gardener. To where they're the ones that well, 
you know, tend to the worlds and seed built and seed planets for life. They're the ones that are like, you know, they judge it, and then if it's if it's if it meets their criteria, they'll they'll let it live, and if it doesn't, they'll just like kill it because they're like the death ones, where the gardeners are like the life ones. And they also have aliphs, which are robotic like creatures that are made by the builders, and they uh like they take their orders or whatever. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's aliphs are like robots and, and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I should just stop, but whatever. So you have the Aleph's, and like they had an Aleph with them, and then like you had Exnilo and Exnili, and they were like making this dude in this thing. This dude in this thing. Wow, that's terrible. Or there's like this dude being created in this tank. And it turns out that like somehow it goes back to like the engineers, and they had like this whole superstructure across the galaxy or the the universe of like what they had made and like planetary systems and like how they work but then there was like some sort of accident with the super flow and it messed everything up but we haven't really like like we don't really know yet like what is what we do kind of know they said it in like infinity the last issue of or was it new avengers i think it was new avengers because they went to like an alternate earth but that earth was by that was like the the, the builders or engineers they're the builders dude they're not the engineers the builders <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. I haven't written in a while. So it's like, oh, and, it's, and I'm tired. It's like 5 a.m., so I'm sorry. But basically, getting back to like the gist of like why it's so awesome. It's like you have you have the the Illuminati on the Earth trying to like stop the incursions, but then you also have Danos is like looking for tribute, and like you think it's a thing, but it's actually a person. And so that happens, and he's basically going from like world to world, raising them, looking for this tribute. But the, I'm not gonna say like what the tribute is; it's kind of a spoiler, so I'm gonna save that for like if you read it. And um, he's looking for a tribute, and so that's like why he gets to Earth, and he's like. But then the reason he comes to Earth is because the Avengers have to go out in, into space and like kick the crap out of the uh, builders and engineers or whatever because they're coming through the galaxy, universe, whatever like ripping, ripping apart everybody that they come across and just like laying waste to everybody. And so it's like the, you have like this cool, awesome, cool, awesome, oh, I'm so tired. So you have like this galactic uh, fleet of races of like all, it, it's very, it's very Star Trek, Mass Effect-y. So you have like the humans, you got the brood, you got the, the Kree, you got the scrolls, you got the, what are those people called? The Shi'ar. You got the the Spartax Empire, and like everybody else, everybody else. Like those are like the major races, I guess. Well, I, I shouldn't say that. That, that. that sounds weird. Those are like the main players. There we go. Of like the Galactic Council, even though they call like humans backwater apes, whatever. And then you have the uh, you got all them, and then you got like every other every other like race in the like the universe, or whatever. And so they're all united in their fight against the builders who are coming back to like just wreck everybody. And they find out that they're coming to Earth because, well, supposedly that's where like all this incursion stuff is like, you know, coming to a head and it's going to like, you know, be bad news and stuff. So that's why the builders are, are coming there. But then Thanos says, you know, not only am I looking for tribute, but you know, you people wreck the time stream. Because like the last event before this one was Age of Ultron, it's it's not that good of a read. It's I didn't like Age of Ultron. It, it, it almost made me. It, it, yeah. Anyway, Age of Ultron not that great. And so like basically in that one, Wolverine goes back. And, okay, it wasn't Wolverine's fault, but like there's like everybody's like almost everybody's dead, and then like they have to go back in time to like try and fix stuff. But in the process of doing that, they basically it's basically like you know you've the one straw that broke the camel's back and you know this is the last time you guys can try and travel because you broke the time stream and there's gonna be some repercussions and so that happened and then um basically yeah like Dennis is like you know you, you humans think you can just you know do whatever you want blah 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 and that's not the case and you're gonna pay for it and so you have like the two fronts of the space battle and like the earth battle going on at the same time and it's like oh man like every issue is like what's going to happen on this front or that front all right after critical clip here we go <laughs> 
Figured you'd be by sooner or later. And what happens if I don't sign? You rot in here, or you work for me. But yeah, I don't know how a Suicide Squad game would work. But yeah, I'm going to stop talking about Infinity because we're at the end of the credits and just so you know, it's, it's worth reading if you're into that. If not, check out Saga because it's awesome. It's been a long night, Alfred. Why don't you turn it's like a... Wouldn't dream of it, um, not until you're that's back like a... Sound. Well, if you're sure you're up for it, I've got a few loose ends to tie say, uh, here. And I could use your help. You can count on it. And when you get home, we can finally have that Christmas dinner I've been keeping warm for you. For our breakfast. That's a really good uh, non-superhero comic to read if you're wanting to get into comics, but whatever. Um, I'm going to stop talking about comics now. Okay, so that's it. Um, we're good. We finished it. We're done. Yes, 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 yes. Victory. Oh, I, I just realized it's like past 30 minutes on the video, so I'm just going to fast travel to the back cave, and that'll be it. I'll be like, yes. I actually want to see what that theme was I unlocked and like show that off. See if I got any new costumes for finishing on super hard mode. Or I am the night mode. Hope the game doesn't freeze. <laughs> Go check out the themes. And yeah, 40 minute video, but it's, it's all credits, dude. That credit roll is crazy in this game. It's like, it's like, it's actually kind of ironic, because it's like, you know, that long of a credit roll, but the game got dinged so badly from everybody as far as like bugs go. And like, you saw this playthrough, like, there was not really that many major bugs. Like, like the game didn't freeze. I didn't have to like reload, whatever, whatever. So I don't know. There are issues, but I don't know. I I guess I didn't encounter them where they weren't as bad for me. So yeah. Let's see if I got any new costumes. I don't think I did, but we'll see. Sir, <sighs> Alfred, hold on. Don't sir me. Hmm. Whoa, what's going on? It's like the hard drives. Spinning, the disc is spinning. Batman, Blackest Night, Nightfall, Red Sun, Got My Gaslight, Classic TV Series, Luffy 2, Batman Noel, A Million, First Appearance. Nope, nothing new for. <laughs> Whatever, I got a trophy. Hmm. Yeah, because this trophy is so worth it compared to everything else. Mm hmm. So, what do you want? That was quite a display on the bridge. Are the hostages safe? All accounted for, as far as I can tell. What's wrong, sir? You seem upset. I told Gordon to stay back, and he went in anyway. Indeed. It's why you're still alive. He deserves your gratitude, not I. Yeah, it's weird. I haven't got the trophy for getting all the offered wisdom, so... When one finds oneself on the opposite side of the law, a reassessment is usually in order. You're right. Someone needs to clean up corruption inside the GCPD. That wasn't exactly what I meant, sir. Let's see, I'm going to uh, Your go back to the main menu now, install this theme. A shame it couldn't be of the armchair variety. And then, uh, yeah. Install this theme and, uh... I'm blanking because I'm so tired. <laughs> All this theme, and then check it out. Yeah, that's what I was So, wait, 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 what? Flame tech. I did complete I'm the night mode. What the F? Oh my gosh, really? Did that just happen? Whatever, dude. I. Whatever. <laughs> I want to say F this game, but I'm not going to, so, yeah. <laughs> How does that happen? I have the FM trophy and it's not letting me get the theme. Okay, I wonder what happens if I go to freaking trophy thingy. And then it sinks. And maybe I have to go back to the main menu or something and then come back in, I don't know. But that's, that's not cool. Like, you know, that was... <laughs> It's like, I don't care, it's so, it's so trivial. It's like, whatever, man. It's like one theme. I wasn't good, like, I always had a default theme anyway. Not like it would have mattered. 
But yeah, flipping, I still don't, uh, I'm not going to get into it. But that's, nice. that's like one of the things I didn't like was how you had to play through the campaign challenges to unlock all the challenge maps. And then within the challenges, you don't get all the gadgets unless you do the Dark Knight mode. But then the Dark Knight mode you can't do because freaking rooms reset in the freaking playthrough. So it's like, ugh, really? Thanks a lot. And the night. And the gold ones. I am the night, see? I am the night, 4.35 a.m. <laughs> oh my gosh. What time is it? It's 5, jeez, 5.14. I'm rambling to myself like I did it. That's not cool, dude. Okay, well, WB Montreal, if you see this video, what the f? Like, I earned that theme. And, you know, I would like to be able to use it, and I feel cheated. Straight up. Like, what the f, man? Theme. Not there. It even said, like, on that last screen. Uh, uh, or whatever, whatever. <sighs> not cool, man. Not cool. Alright, well, I guess I'll let the game to see, like, if I can redo that part. Or what's up with that. Or if it starts from the beginning of I Am the Night Mode, since I already cleared it, even though it didn't count me as clearing it. Oops. I'm sorry, I'm, the wrong, I'm in the wrong part of the thingy. I guess, let's see if there's anything in this one. Mm, nope. Nothing new. Darn. Alrighty then, so. Let's see where I am the night mode takes off. Oh, I see if I have any new challenges, actually. If I'm in the bad cave, I can just go to the challenges from here, so that's, that's cool. I'm not in the bad cave, though, so. As the video approaches 45 minutes, I'm sorry. I could just split this in the... Wait, no, because it's just credits. The night we're having. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, back in the back cave. Hey, Alfred. Whoa. Look, sir, why not Did he just fall let the floor? these assassins fight it out among themselves? It would certainly shorten your to-do list. Alfred, they'd take out half of Gotham City in the process. <laughs> I fear you've assumed too much responsibility. Only because no one else will. No objective currently selected. Hmm. Well, I got the shaft on my freaking theme. Seriously, it's whatever, man. I'm not even gonna. Whatever. It's whatever. 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 <laughs> okay, push X, and you climbed up the training console. Do you have any new challenges? I don't believe I do. That we can. Oh, this is new. Maybe I do. Do. Nope. Cause that's when I haven't done yet. Oh, I guess I'll do that now. The rest of the, the maps I haven't done in the. Uh, what should I call it? The. Uh, the Predator DLC stuff, yeah. Alright, well. Yeah, I want to get this 101 Deathstroke map and all the rest of the Deathstroke stuff up, so I guess I'll do that. But, uh, that's it for the video. And I hope you enjoyed my Let's Play of Arkham Origins. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, favorite, share with your friends or not. That's cool. That's your prerogative. Nobody's forcing you to do anything you don't want to. And, uh, yeah, I have no idea what my next Let's Play will be, <laughs> so, no idea. I might go back and do, like, Arkham Asylum on hard, and then do, um, Arkham City on New Game Plus. And then after that trilogy, I might... I don't even know, dude, because I'm, I'm so new to, like, I don't usually do Let's Plays, so... But yeah, that's it. It's 5.17 a.m., so I'm gonna go to sleep now. And, uh, yeah. Until you hear or see from me again on the YouTubes, I am now signing off.